versus Major Ocelot. Okay, so we're on our way in this, um, I think it's a MIG that we stole. A MIG? I told you you could trust me. I, I apologize for the lessened quality compared to my other videos. Uh, I cannot find any decent HD editions of this video. Oh, crap, we're being shot. We don't have enough altitude to clear that cliff. Who the hell shot us? Snake! Ocelot again? Are you kidding me? Ocelot! What the hell? We're not done yet! We aren't? Well, apparently not. If we were, then this video wouldn't exist. <laughs> Gotta get my guns. Ah, oh, he's ramming the ship! Damn it, damn it. <laughs> Me and Jack agree. Oh, he dented the wing, too, with his flying chair. How are flying chairs possible? There it goes. No weapons for Jackie boy! What do you want, Ocelot? <laughs> Screw you, you freaking bastard! Ah, ow! Ah, damn it! Oh, I'm good at this, Ocelot. But I'm better. Too heavy. We're too heavy. There's only three people on board. <laughs> oh, so you still got a lot to learn, but you are getting better. You got this. And this. And this. But ah, oh, damn it. Uh, Ocelot, stop punching. You thought I was taking out that easily? You don't know who you're dealing with, Ocelot. And yet you do. Because you've been following me this entire game. I don't need the basics, I just took down the master of CQC techniques. Well, it is a flashback. Not good. Oh, we're not gonna be able to clear that cliff if we don't throw Ocelot out of here. It's getting intense. Ah. What the? How'd you do that to me? <laughs> Counter. Damn, this is a pretty exciting fight. I mean, these are two soldiers that are becoming friends, of all things. The only way that soldiers can. <laughs> oh, you're trying to take advantage, Ocelot? What a bastard. Won't you take a trip to the floor? I picked up a few new moves. Yeah, you stole them from me. What do you want, Ocelot? Are you gonna shoot me with your gun? It doesn't feel right to shoot an unarmed man. It really shouldn't. But I'll get over it. What? Eva. You're not heartless. She has her own revolver. <laughs> they both don't have any bullets. That's awesome. Either that, they're on their last bullet. I mean, five or six randomly flipping off, it's gonna be hard to decide. What do you say to one last showdown? Sure, Ocelot. With your yeah, favorite right. bullet, apparently. Wait, why are we agreeing to this? Okay, here's ours. And we can do your gun twirling tricks, too. Be all stylish. Look, his gun twirling is amazing. Even gonna do some juggling. Though it's not hard to juggle with two objects. Let's just pick one. Right or left. What's your name? What's my name? Snake. No. 
Not that name. You're not a snake, and I'm not an ocelot. We're men with names. My name is Adamska. Of course it's Adamska. You're Russian, of all things. John. You're not even gonna give him his real, Very real well. name. John. You bastard. Plain name. Now he's gonna call you John for the next 30 years. Either that or you're gonna tell him that you're lying to him. But names Come don't on. names don't really matter in Metal Gear Solid. They they never have. We gonna do this old West style? Three steps and then we shoot. Showdown time. Gotcha! Ha ha! Also, I never stood a chance. <laughs> You're not dying. What the? <laughs> What the hell? It's a blank. You've been carrying around a blank this entire time? You crazy son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, no one was gonna die, huh? That was huh? fun. <laughs> so we meet again. You wanted to have a showdown John. where nobody died. <laughs> ocelot, ocelot. Oh, what, he just jumped in the lake? It's not really a lake. That's a frickin' puddle. It's the stuff that only works in Metal Gear Solid. Okay, so it was short and all, so let's see what the scoreboard thought of it. Gameplay. Okay, so the battle script of this fight can be summed up in four words. Two guns, one shot. All there was to do is just pick up one of the revolvers and shoot at Major Ocelot. It's an entirely random outcome, but it definitely works here for being a story-driven boss fight. Unfortunately, that's all there is, but I'll give it an A Triforces anyway. Story. This is where the fight gets crazy. Ever since Big Boss gave Major Ocelot the helpful advice to get rid of his modern pistols, he's been obsessed with getting another crack at the legendary soldier. Even going so far as to risk his own life as shown when he joined the Shago Hot chase sequence, and now when he's taken some sort of single person flying machine to get into Big Boss's escape vehicle. Becoming literally obsessed, the objective he sought out for most of the game is just within his grasp. He decides that in this final showdown he'll give Big Boss one of his revolvers along with himself, put a bullet in one of them, and juggle him around to give both of them a fair shake. However, what this fight does best is that after the shot is fired, Major Ocelot says that this was great, and he's been able to have an honorable duel with the legendary Big Boss. He then proceeds to jump out of the helicopter, never to be seen again, and creating true friendship between the two soldiers. I'm gonna give this category a 10 Triforce perfect score. Fun. Coming into this, I was aghast that somehow Major Ocelot had made it onto Big Boss's escape vehicle and that I'd have to fight him again, and being so shortly after the boss fight, I wasn't ready for this. But after watching the following cutscenes, I saw that this wasn't really going to be a boss fight, but rather just some last story bit. After taking the last shot and finding I'd missed, I thought I was screwed. Until Major Ocelot laughed. This moment of gaming was one of my most memorable, finalizing Major Ocelot is one of my favorite video game characters. Chasing Big Boss around this entire game just to be able to take this last shot at him, the ridiculousness of it all and the lengths to which he went just to get an honorable bout with his warbound friend. It's a true standout moment that will remain in the minds of anyone who plays this game. For being such a great time, I'll give it the near perfect score of 9 and 1 thirds Triforces here. This boss fight being the final boss of Metal Gear Solid 3 seems a bit absurd with how it panned out. I mean, it truly was just a single shot at the most basic level. But that one shot is so incredibly important that it just radiates throughout Major Ocelot's entire character arc, making his friendship with Big Boss concrete and everlasting. 
you can probably say that the boss was the true final boss of this game, but really it should go to Major Ocelot who made the Herculean effort to make this happen. And it was great being made clear with a final score of 27 and 1 thirds out of 30. Now that this final boss has been dealt with, you know what that means. Yep, the final review of Metal Gear Solid 3 is next, and that'll be up shortly. So before then, I will just leave you with another victory for gamers.